Hello everyone, welcome to this talk about VQT and transducer using vector quantized prediction network states. I'm Jia Tong Shi, and this is a joint work with George, David, Xinji, and Brian. Noted that it, the work was done when I was did the internship at IBM Research AI. So here about the content, uh, I will be briefly introduced about the background of the uh, of the work, and then we'll be discussing about the methodologies over the uh, our proposed method. And later, we'll be discussing about the experiments and the corresponding conclusion. So firstly, we want to define the iron transducer formulation here as a background. So the input here is a speech signal, which we noted as X, and the output is the expected output transcription Y, where we also add the star token at the front. The optimization objective is the negative logarithm of uh, the probability of y given x. So here, uh, noted that the for each of the y is in the vocabulary set uh, we know as the curly y, and also in terms of the uh, to align the x and y, we introduce alignment a and where AI is uh, like the vocabulary set curly Y and uh, join it the a black symbol, which is noted as a, a, a special symbol for the alignment. So here, uh, the P of Y given X, it can be modified by doing the summarization of the probability of P of A given X where A is in a larger set of the, uh, the inverse B of Y, which noted as the uh, all the potential speech signal that could be generating the corresponding output transcription. So here later, we can further formulate the P of A given X equals to the P of A given M, where is the output of the encoder output states. And then it can be essentially getting it to the same uh, into the final representation of the sum up over the all the alignments giving the specific uh, state of the encoder and the corresponding specific state of the prediction network, which uh, get input from the previous predicted token. So then we want to briefly introduce the decoding strategies for ASR. So here we noted as the easiest way of doing the decoding strategy for ASR is to doing the one best decoding. So noted here is a, a happy puppy, which is known as a transcription. And for each of the time step, we are just predicting uh, each of the corresponding token, like the a uh, happy and puppy. And the other method we're uh, talking about is a beep search decoding. So the major concept is here is kind of elaborating the hypothesis into a tree-based structure. And for each of the potential hypotheses, we are using a beam to limit the search base so that we could be getting more efficient searching. But at the same time, it could be have the potential to lose some possibility to get the better performances because sometimes of the beam may not be uh, may still exclude some like intermediate states that might be essentially good at the end. And the last is the lattice based decoding. It's a more compact format of the decoding structure. So in terms of that, uh, by acting like a graph it can be merging the hypothesis from each of the uh, expansion so that it will be more efficient in terms of having the better performances because we can have to sum up over a different uh, previous condition and then proceed to the next one. So as here, the most important one that it will be act a hypothesis merging during the searching space so that it will be have more potential to include more hypotheses in one of the lattice. So here, what we discuss here is to introduce a vector quantized transducer as our proposed method. 
So noted that uh, in the graph figure A and the formula set of A, it's noted as the original LSTM, where we have the cell state and the hidden state at the same time. As we input a uh, specific token Y, uh, we'll be getting the uh, output from the LSTM cell as a hidden state, which we noted as a G here. But for the VQ LSTM, which we propose in this paper for our VQ T, is that we are input uh, a vector quantized module into the system. So after each of the LSTM cell, uh, after we get the hidden states and the uh, self states, we firstly use a learnable vector quantized module to learn a corresponding token, uh, which we note as a discrete token in our code book. And then using this code book to refer to a specific embedding, uh, which we're using for the next hidden states. So in terms of that, we could uh, using by using the discrete units generating from the hidden states, which we refer as the code book. So that will be a fixed code book where we won't have a very large space of different vectors. So in terms of that, we can fix the lines of a specific number. And by using this uh, specific discrete token, we could be efficiently merging the hypothesis in lightest generation. So here is a process of the algorithm that we doing with the lattice generation. So we have the encoder states M, beam search size as H, and also the maximum output sequence length as U max. So in terms of that, we firstly, at the step one, initialize a lattice with finite state acceptor, which is noted as FSA in the algorithm. Later, we are uh, initializing the hypothesis set, where basically stored in the set B, where we also uh, initialize two empty set F and A for the future uses. In the later space, we iterate through the alignment set because we are using the alignment synchronous decoding. And in terms of that, for each of the sequences, we firstly kind of expanding the hypothesis with the current B set and also as well as the encoder states. And with that, we could get a new uh, expanded set as A, uh, where we'll be uh, having a more potential hypothesis generated in that. And later for each of the step, we'll be merging the hypothesis with the same VQ state, the vector quant has discrete unit, so that we could be merging some of the hypothesis together, but some with the uh, remainder difference so that we can refer to the future pooling. So in terms of the pooling, we will be pooling with respect to the beam set. Basically, we just choose the one with the highest likelihood and then using that to uh, proceed to the next step. And the next step is that for each of the internal alignment step, we update, update the lattice by setting the source and target nodes with the merging process. So after that, we could get the output and then doing the uh, final prediction. And here is a tool example of the lattice generated by the VQ transducer. So the noted here is that on the left is a model that using the limited context for merging the hypothesis. For example, this is a two, uh, a two words uh, we note as two, and uh, though they are sound exactly the same, like TWO and TOO, but uh, given that they're having the same context as O and space, probably they could be merging together if the context is very limited. And at the same time, if you are using the lattice generation with VQ transducer, which we noted as VQT in our paper, is that they could be potentially generate the same hypothesis discrete unit in terms of the LSTM state. So in giving that, we can efficiently merging the old state already without consider the following merging. So if you look at the complexity of the graph, it actually the lattice generated by merging hypothesis is having a simpler uh, layout 
and also it's more efficient uh, because it's kind of uh, reduced the number of arcs. So in terms of that, we are want to explore the exp uh, experiment setup. So firstly, we are using the, uh, the widely used data called the switchboard conversational data set, which have 300 hours of data, and we evaluate on the three test sets from the switchboard. And in terms of that, we are also like uh, evaluating different multi uh, model architectures, uh, including the baseline and the very limited context model, where we're using the uh, convolutional prediction network with the two token reception field and the VQT, which is noted as the VQSM uh, LSTM prediction network. And each model can have either the LSTM or conformal encoder. You can refer more uh, like architectural uh, details and also the data annotation details in the paper, but uh, this is a major concept in this presentation. So in terms of that, uh, we want to firstly show the speech recognition result over that with the one batch decoding. So I also listed the state number in each of the system. In baseline, because we are using over the uh, real domain, so basically the state number will be infinite. Well, for the uh, very limited context model, which is known as VLC, that will be having the vocabulary size as the square of the vocabulary sets, given that we have the two token as the reception field. Well, for the VQ transducer, we will be having the moderate state number like between the baseline and the VLC. So in terms of that, we also test it on each of the encoder and decoder, uh, encoder and with the LSTM and encoder with conformer at the same time. We can clearly say that the conformer is actually having better without than the LSTM, given that uh, each of the uh, number is getting better WER than the LSTM on each of the test set. At the same time, we could find that in generally, uh, generally speaking, that the VQT is getting better performances than the VLC and baseline. And even though it have a limited context uh, of the, like using the disparate unit as a vector space, uh, it's still getting kind of good performances over time. And we also evaluate the lattice with the uh, generated from the VQT. And it's showing that actually we could get a very dense lattice with the vector context module and as well as we could get a great improvements over the Oracle world average. So basically we know that we actually have a very good uh, coverage over the hypothesis in our lattice. So here we also do uh, some experiments over how the lattice is generated and how it is performed uh, over the downstream tasks. So in terms of that, we are testing that on the launch model rescoring task by incorporating the language model scores into the lattice so that we can improve the ASR performances. So in terms of that, we're testing on the baseline, VLC and BQT with the character as the token. So we can clearly find that the language model rescoring for character-based model on uh, the test set could get absolute improvements from rescoring. And it's really kind of uh, still maintain, the VQ transducer model is still maintain the best performances over that. So the generally the take home message will be something like this one. The vector quantization in prediction network of our transducer, which we noted as VQT in our paper, could efficiently comprise full context into discrete states providing nitro merge points for the hypothesis merging in lattice generation. And the proposed VQT can improve the performance of beam search one by decoding and will be generate dense, efficient lattice with a very low Oracle word every from small beam size. At the same time, the lattice can be used for downstream tasks that like the language model rescoring. And thank you very much uh, for listening to this talk and hope to see you in the inter-speech.